In the second video of this Minecraft Pi series, I'm going to show you how you can set the position of the player. And of course, in Minecraft, the player is called Steve. So in Minecraft Pi on Raspberry Pi, it's no different. You're still Steve. Um, and what you're able to do is use coordinates to figure out where Steve is. If you look in the top left hand corner of the Minecraft screen, you can see some very teeny tiny white writing. This tells you the player's location. And this is in three coordinates, X, Y, and Z. And that's because of course, Minecraft is a 3D environment. So you have 3D coordinates. If we know where Steve is in the world, it means we are able to use some code to teleport him to different coordinates in the same world. So let's start by storing his current position inside some variables called x, y, and z. And I can do this by typing x, comma, y, comma, z equals mc.player.getPos. So get position, make sure that P is a capital P, and then open close brackets. So this will store Steve's current location within those uh, variable names. Then if I type mc.player.setPos, so I'm going to set the position of the player, and in brackets x, comma, y, comma, z, close brackets, um, I can set the player's position. But obviously if I just set x, y, and z, it's just going to put him exactly where he is right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 100 onto his y position. If we remember our coordinates, y is kind of up and down. So if we add 100 and I save and run this file, um, you'll see that he will teleport up 100 blocks into the air and of course fall back down because he has nothing to stand on. This works with negative numbers as well. So we could do minus 50 and if I save and run this file again, we will see that he will teleport down by 50 blocks. Of course, this is underground, so not actually that helpful. There's another way to quickly use variables to change Steve's location. So what I'm doing here is I'm adding the variable x, y, and z, and I'm giving them some values. Here I've just used 10, 11, and 12. And then I'm gonna delete this line where I'm getting Steve's position right now, um, because I don't want to store that at the moment. And I'm just going to adapt this code so that I've removed the kind of plus 100. And so now what I'm able to do every time I run this file is I can just go back in and change the X, the Y or the Z separately and then just keep running it. So now let's use our teleporter to actually be really useful in Minecraft. So quite often Minecraft maps are really, really large. Um, and sometimes you build your house and then you're miles away from it and actually you want to get back to your house. A good way is to teleport, right? So what I'm doing right now is checking where I am right now using the white coordinates that are uh, on the screen. And then I'm replacing the X, Y, and Z with those coordinates. And now I'm just going to run across the map quite far away from where I started from. Then I'm going to save and run my code. And of course, what it's going to do is teleport me straight back to where I want to be, which is near my house. So that's teleporting in Minecraft Pi. If you want to know more about hacking Minecraft, then do check out the rest of this playlist. My name is Carrie Ann and you've been watching The Geek Girl Diaries.